Okay, so I did a community post three weeks ago, and I asked you guys if you wanted this setup tour. I said 40 likes, and I'll do a setup tour. It actually got 80 likes, as you can see on the screen right now. So here is the promised setup tour. Editor, roll for cinematics. Okay, so you guys just saw the cinematics, but here's the main deal. So let's start off with the monitor. This monitor is actually the Samsung Odyssey G5. It's 144 hertz. For those of you who don't know what hertz means, it basically means the time it takes your monitor to load an image. So if your monitor was 60 hertz, it will take even longer than a 144 hertz monitor. When I stream, I usually have Discord and Twitter on this monitor, as you can see. Uh, so moving on to my middle monitor, here's actually where I play all my games. For example, Roblox, Fortnite, just everything like that. You can literally see Blazel right now. And for those of you who are taking a very close look into the setup, I've actually got a photo P tab open. I'm making a thumbnail right now as we speak. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make a thumbnail, let's go with 100 likes. 100 likes and I'll do a video on how to make a thumbnail. We do not care. So yeah, all the magic basically happens on the middle monitor. Okay, so let me move this chair out of the way. My headphones, oh no. Okay, I've just now just saved my headphones. We'll talk about the headphones later. So now here, the third and final monitor. This is where I actually put my OBS when I stream. So let me load it up right now. Okay, so I'm loading up OBS. Okay, so OBS is now actually loaded up and it says there's an update, but I'll update it later. So this is basically where my live streaming scene is. I usually have chat over here as well. Chat goes about there and my live streaming's here. This is how I switch scenes. So how I do the start and soon screen is this. I click that. And the start and soon screen happens. If we're really quiet, we could probably hear the music through my headphones right now. So yeah, but anyways, enough with the monitors. Now we actually have the keyboard. The keyboard is actually an Apex Pro Mini. It's like £120, I think. It's really small. It doesn't take up a lot of space on my desk. It's really clicky, as you can see. Very good keyboard. Highly recommend it. Now, this mouse, this is the best mouse you can get. This is how I win all my games in Blade Ball. That's not even cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No boys. Okay, so let me sit down for this. This mouse has three sensitivities. So basically, that's medium, that's low, and that's high. Basically, high means the mouse will move really fast. Like this, you can't even see the mouse. Medium is this, so it's just a little bit slower. And slow is really slow, it's like really slow. There's no, I usually have it on medium. So yeah, that's the mouse. Now you guys are probably wondering, what is this? Whenever I speak, you can see that it lights up. If I speak really quiet, no, it picks it up. But if I speak really loud, it'll go red. This basically captures my voice. So it's connected to my microphone. This is actually the f microphone. It's okay, it's a hundred pounds. I don't really like it. I'm getting the short some SMB soon now, I'm upgrading. But basically, if I want to sound really quiet on my mic, all I do is turn this knob down just like that. And it probably won't pick up my voice. Let's see. Oh, it does pick up my voice. Okay, so if I want this red box not to hear me, all I have to do is turn this knob down just like that. And it won't pick up my voice anymore. But if I want to be really loud, I do that and it will hear my voice. And this one's just my microphone gain. So if I, sound, if I want to sound really quiet, I turn it down. And if I want to sound like Pat Gold, I turn it all the way up. I turn the gain all the way up. And now I sound like Pat Gold. So yeah, pretty cool. If you're a streamer, I'd highly recommend this. Okay, so now here's my headphone stand. So I don't really think my headphone stand was a good purchase. Because all it does is just ha put your headphones on there. I spent £80 on this headphone stand. And such a waste of money. Do not buy this. Just do not buy this. If you buy this, you have two brain cells. Don't, don't buy it. Now this headphone stand. It has a USB port here, as you can see. So I basically just plug my phone charger in there and it charges my phone. But my mouse pad does that, more on that later. This headphone stand was £80. The reason why it was £80 is because it's not actually a headphone stand. It's a speaker as well. Yeah, that's right. I could play videos on this headphone stand and it would come out 
for headphone stand. So it's basically a secondary speaker because I've got speakers here, but this is a secondary speaker. It has a 3.1 surround sound for all you nerds out there. And yeah, it's really good, but I don't really like the price for it. I think it should be 50 quid, not 80. But it's, it's really good. Okay, so now we have our speakers here, like I was just talking about. These speakers are decent. I got them from um from Amazon for around 40 bucks. They're quite good quality. They sound really good. Let me actually show you an example. Okay, never mind. It doesn't want to play any sound. It's kind of broken right now, but I'll fix it right after this video. Good thing I'm making this because I wouldn't know if they're broken. I actually missed out on Alexa. Alexa, say hi. Why did it just like bread? I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Oh, Alexa, you're useless. Just, just disconnect. Alexa. Turn off. Turn off right now. Okay, moving on. I've got my PlayStation 5. Yes, I've got a PlayStation 5. Let me turn it on and show you guys. Uh, what, 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 why won't it turn on? Why is everything breaking right now? Hold on. Okay, so now it actually just turned on. Yeah, I had to turn my light on because it turned out my power cord was loose. But now it's on. Okay, so my PlayStation's now on. Let me grab a controller here. And yeah, it's now one. As you can see, I've got Fortnite, Gang Beasts, Minecraft, Rocket League, Fall Guys, Roblox. I've got Roblox on my PlayStation. Yeah, I'm that sad. I've got all the games. So I actually have another pair of headphones here. These are the Razer. I'm not sure, actually. I'll have the editor throw them up on the screen right now. But they're very good. They come with an actual mic. The mic quality on this is really good. And I'm not even just saying that. It's really good. They're not even sponsoring me. I actually forgot to mention something. So these are my PC headphones. They're the DT990 Pros. They're really good. Creecroft actually used to have them. They're 250 ohms for all the tech nerds out there. They're also really comfy. They have this nice soft fabric on the base of them. So whenever you're wearing them, you sometimes even forget that you're actually wearing them. They're connected to my audio interface. So as you can see, it's picking up my voice. Really good. Highly recommend them. Alright, so this is just where my controller charges. I don't have it plugged in right now, but I'll just go like that and it'll charge. Nothing special. Also, I've got my lovely little Prime collection over there. Really good. This video is sponsored by Prime. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's not sponsored by Prime. Okay, so now let's talk about my chair. This is the GT Force chair. It's really good. It's like £200. I love the editor throw this up on the screen as well. Which makes this chair really good. It actually comes with a leg rest. So whenever I'm not live streaming and I feel like watching some YouTube, all I do is just put this here. And I just watch a bit of Creecraft while I put my legs on this chair, nice and relaxed. It actually comes with some pillars as well. It comes with two pillars. I'll have everything linked in the description if you're interested in buying anything. It can also go back, but I'm not going to show you that I can go backwards because that will require me to show my face. And I don't want to do that right now. Maybe, maybe at 10k subs. Okay, so now let's go back to the mouse pad. So this ring here actually charges my phone. That's why I was talking about this port. It could charge my phone, but what's the point when I could just go, bam, and it charges. It's literally charging right now, I'm not lying. So really good, this mouse pad was like 30 quid. I'll have a link down in the description. You should definitely go order this if you want your charge. If you want your phone to be charged while you're playing, definitely order this. Okay, before I talk about the beast of the PC, I just want to show you my cable management. It's, don't, we don't talk about it, okay? I'm getting some cable management stuff. But for now, I think I've done a really good job. Uh, we, don't, we don't talk about it. Before I show you the PC, I actually forgot to show you my mic arm as well. So my mic arm's really flexible. It can literally come out like that. It can reach out all the way to about to my bed, probably. Let's try it. Can it reach out to my bed? Let me unplug my cable because my cable's tangled right now. Right, here we go. It can probably reach to my bed. I'm not going to lie. It's just about. Look how far that reached. It's the Elgato High Profile Mic Boomer. So if you're looking to buy this, I'll have it linked down in the description. But that's actually insane on how far that reach. You can actually see the Elgato logo on the side. So big shout out to Elgato. What makes it even better, I could twist my mic while it being on the arm. Look at that. I could adjust the space. I can adjust it so I could like swing it around. I can move it up. I can move it down. But this is a perfect position until I get my Shure 7 SMB. Okay, so now let's talk about this PC. I swear to God, if this PC leaks my face, I'll get a sledgehammer and I'll smash it. I'm not afraid to do so. So this PC was actually £2,000 just by itself. It's a really good PC. I'll have the specs on the screen right now for all the PC nerds out there. 
What I do know about this PC is that it has a 3070 RTX and it has an i7 Intel processor, 12th gen. It's really good. I basically clean it out every month so no dust gets into the fans and my PC doesn't run slowly. I have three fans. One, two, and three. P pretty cool, pretty cool PC. If you have the money to buy it, I'd definitely recommend this PC. This is probably the best 2000 PC you can get. And I've also put it on a bit of wood so no dust can get into the PC. Okay, and the very last thing I want to talk about is my internet. So if you watch my streams, you know I've got a really dog internet. But that has changed. As you can see, I've got a really, really long cable running over there. And if we zoom into this, you can see that hexagon-like shape. That is actually my pod. That pod gives me a lot of good internet to get into my PC and let me stream. So it's really, really good. Also, my LED lights are purple right now. Okay, so that was the setup tour. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Remember, 100 likes and I'll do a video on how to make thumbnails next. Let me know down in the comments below what you like about the setup, what you don't like about the setup. And remember, everything shown in this video will be linked down in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Michael because he's an absolute legend. Without him, this video would not have been possible because I would not be able to edit this. I'll see you guys next live stream. Bye.